In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the use of power. Uh, power is the rate of energy usage. Uh, you can think of it as like how fast are you doing work. So the standard definition of power is the work divided by the time, which is the amount of energy you're putting in divided by the amount of time. So it's a rate of, of energy use. Um, since work is equal to force times distance, which I'm showing you right here, um, in this equation, then you have d divided by t. Well, distance divided by time is a velocity, so power is also equal to a force times a velocity. These units would be in joules per second because you have energy divided by time, so it's how much energy you're using by time, and joules per second is referred to as the watt. Now, a lot of times in the problems that you're going to face, the problems will mention kilowatts. Just remember that one kilowatt is a thousand watts and be careful with that. Uh, you might also have to know the, the uh, definition of a horsepower. Uh, one horsepower is about 746 watts. Um, normally when we're doing classes in live versions, uh, we'll have a lab where people run up the stairs and we'll try to determine what their, their power rating is and compare it to how many horsepower they're able to generate. Um, most athletic people can get about one horsepower or so, uh, depending on on situations that we're running upstairs, generally your athletes that are runners are able to generate that amount of power or so. So let's take a look at a problem. This is a sample problem F out of your textbook. Um, kind of uh, worded oddly because you don't exactly know what to solve for at the beginning. So you have this theater curtain that needs to be raised uh, seven and a half meters. It's going to be uh, raised at a constant speed and I'm going to actually underline that because that's that's kind of important for later on. So we have a constant speed. Whoops, that is not underlining at all. Let's try actually using the pen tool. So at a constant speed. Uh, and it wants to be up in as close to five seconds as possible. The power ratings for three motors that you can buy are listed as one kilowatt, three and a half kilowatts, and five and a half kilowatts. Which motor is best for the job? So we have the curtain picture here. It's going to be raised a height of seven and a half meters in about five seconds, or as close to five seconds as possible. So there's two ways to attack this problem. One way is to use each of these powers as a given and then solve for the time and see which time is closest to five seconds. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use five seconds as my time as a given. I'm going to calculate the power required and then I'm going to compare that power to these. Uh, in the first way, you'd have to do the equation three different times, so you got three different problems. So you plug in the power for each one of these and solve for time three times. In this one, I just have to do the problem once. I solve for the, the power rating, and then I compare the power to the three givens. So um, we're going to go with our standard power is equal to work divided by time. And since work is force times distance, well, that tells you that the force times the distance, the work being done divided by the time, is equal to the power. So the question is, well, what's the force? If we draw a free body diagram on the curtain, uh, this force would be acting up, and mg is down, and I underline constant speed. Well, if it's moving at a constant speed, there's no acceleration, so the sum of the forces in the y direction is going to equal zero, so f has to equal mg. So we can replace f with mg. So mg times the distance going must be, e or, I'm sorry, divided by the time equals the power. So I need to solve for power. I know the mass. I know g. I know the distance. I know the time because I'm saying I want it up in five seconds. So now we just plug and chug. So we have a mass of 195. Oh, I've used 195, not 193. Trust me, this will still work out fine. I'm not sure what I actually put in my calculator. I used the 195. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, it's 193 um, kilograms in reality. Uh, so I'm going to fix that on the calculator. Uh, so when I plug this into my calculator, I got a little over 2,000 um, watts. I'm actually going to plug in the 193 now. So the difference is 30, 30 watts here. Um, so I used the 195. So I ended up getting a power of 2,869. Remember, that's really 39 now. And so in comparison... 
uh, the, the motor that's closest is the 3.5 kilowatt motor. So the 3.5 kilowatt motor is going to be our best buy for this. The 1 kilowatt motor will take too long, be over 5 seconds. The 5 kilowatt will be over, uh, I'm sorry, be under 5 seconds. So this is as close to 5 seconds as we can get. So that answers that particular question. So please be aware that I messed up the, the numbers there, but in the end it ends up being the same answer. All right, if you have any questions, let me know.